Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, we are talking about van life and summer, well, summer van life and camping must-haves. I can't believe that we are almost to the official first day of summer here in June, but I'm guessing that most places in the U.S. are already experiencing summer temperatures. So I will be talking about my favorite summer products for van life. And at the end of this video, I want you to comment what some things are that you must have for camping during the warmer summer months. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's get into it. If you're camping with others this summer, you have to have camp games. Right now, Target has an awesome selection of games for a 10 to $15. So I got this lawn darts, darts in quotes, uh, game that comes with four darts and two targets. It's really fun and uh, it's great for the entire family. So this I think was $15, but they have other really fun games at Target. And Maddie got us darts. I'm really bad at it, but it's so much fun. This was actually purchased at Walmart. I think the price was around $26. Whether it's for two people or 10 people, camp games are so much fun. To keep your pets cool while camping uh, over the summer, you can get a cooling mat. This one is Coleman. I actually got it from my friend Angela, but it has like a gel in there that keeps it cool. You do need to keep it out of direct sunlight. Of course, this is a small one for chihuahuas or maybe a cat even, um, but you can purchase much larger ones if you have a bigger dog. They really help to keep your pet cool. To follow up on the comfort of your pet, it is so important that they have a safe space that is shaded. Winston has been obsessed with his playpen for about four years now. He knows that it is his space, his quiet, safe spot. It protects him from bugs and wind and sun. And then of course I keep the tapestry on top to further protect him from the sun and the wind. He's passed out in it right now. Typically I have the door open, but I just have it flapped down right now to keep the big bugs from flying in, but he can still get in and out as he pleases. I discovered this product in the winter time and it's called City Bonfires. It was started by two dads living on the East Coast who got laid off during COVID. They are from Maryland, so you are supporting small business, but it is a small, portable fire that lasts three to five hours and it's even food safe if you want to roast marshmallows or something. The city bonfire does not do well with the wind so I did put up my wind guard but I just wanted to light my fire for a little bit of ambiance even if I don't need the heat. You just want to have a bonfire in the summer and this is a great simple way to do it. What are two things that can destroy our bodies in the summer? Bugs and sun, am I right? So you need to get yourself a good hat. I love this hat, it's actually Columbia brand. I purchased it on Amazon. It has a strap that goes around my chin too, which is actually very helpful for those super windy days. But the top is adjustable as well and it does have these side vents. Um, it is water resistant also, so this is nice because it protects your entire face, your ears, and your neck. I think it's pretty cute. So this is just the gray one. I think it was around $20 on Amazon a couple years ago. But we all know that with inflation, the price has probably gone up. Also, sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. This is Bear Republic 100 SPF. I put it on my face, my ears, my neck especially. Um, and... I actually talked about this recently. This is from Target, but remember to always check the active ingredients because you can see things that are labeled like for face or invisible shine or whatever when it's literally all the same stuff. So check the active ingredients. This is five ounces. It was around $15 and the one for just your face because it was an invisible finish was $18 for two ounces. So check all the gimmicky marketing and advertising, um, but don't forget your sunscreen in the meantime. 
And to keep those pesky bugs away from yourself and your dog, I have been using for a couple years now the Sawyer Permethrin. And this bottle, I still have quite a bit in it. Like I said, it's lasted me about two years. And it um, actually repels against five different insects that can carry things like Zika, West Nile virus, uh, Lyme disease, etc. So not only does it protect against mosquitoes, but also ticks, if ticks are a problem for your dog. This can be sprayed not only on your gear, like you can spray it on your tent, you can spray it on your chair, but I spray it on my blankets, Winston's playpen, tapestries, um, Winston's towels, and if the bugs get really bad, I'll do like a light distance spray on Winston himself to keep the bugs away. It is very effective. Um, but it's toxic to cats, so do not use this if you have cats. Um, it can be very toxic. And you don't have to spray this every day. This can last up to six weeks on different surfaces. So um, get yourself some of this because, uh, yeah, very effective. It's worked very, very well. So for clothing, gear, tents, um, and especially if you have a dog. I love this stuff. And it's lasted me quite a while. So get yourself a bottle. I have DIY bug screens for my doors and my trunk space that Maddie made for me just using magnets and screen. But I also have these stretchy bug screens that go on my front windows. And these are really nice if you just want to crack your window at night. They also can add some tint to your window. So these I purchased on Amazon. I think they came in a set of two, but as you can see, they're nice and stretchy and it's very fine mesh to keep out the bugs. So these are nice for when it gets a little warmer and I like to open my windows like an inch or so. Keeps the bugs out. Sunshades for the inside of your vehicle are imperative. On my back two windows, I have the custom heat shield reflective sunshades that not only make a big difference in the temperature, but also in privacy. I have one for my back windshield also. So I cannot believe how much of a difference these make. I love them so much that I just ordered a set uh, for these windows as well for my side windows because I decided that I need them. So the price has increased about $5 per set, but you can go to heatshieldstore.com to purchase these. Fans are also important for camping and van life. And I recently discovered that a good place to find them is at thrift stores. I found this really cool clip fan with a stand that's USB powered at Goodwill for five bucks. So this is really nice because I like that it can clip or stand anywhere. It has two settings and it's USB powered. So for $5, I'm pretty proud of this find. I also have small camping fans. These are rechargeable. They have three different settings and also a light, uh, three settings of a light as well. And these can stand or also hang. So these are excellent as well. A little more expensive, but I think from now on, I'm gonna go to the thrift store to find fans because you can't beat five bucks for such a cool fan. Tapestries come in handy for a variety of uses, but I like them because if I want shade or privacy, I can open up my door and hang my tapestries. I just use simple magnets to do so, and then you can also pull them back, and I just put them right there through that handle if I want to. The other thing that's nice about these is there was just a big wave of pollen that fell from the trees, and this totally kept the pollen from destroying the inside of my van. I got this cooling blanket a couple of summers ago, and I love it. Um, it's great because if you're like me, uh, I like to have a blanket on at night, even if it's warm. However, in Arizona, the nights still get uh, pretty cool, even in the summer. This is made out of cooling nylon with icy jade fiber and rayon. So it is very soft. 
incredibly lightweight and like touching it right now it's cold so I really like it I use it for Winston a lot if we are in a warmer climate and he's even slept on it before as his bed so I do recommend and I purchased this on Amazon I also like these cooling towels that I have these are also from Amazon. It came in a pack of four. They each come in these little zip baggies. You can get them wet and freeze them or just get them wet and put them in your fridge and then wrap it around your neck or put it wherever. I have literally in humid summer climates in the Midwest, I have taken one and put it on Winston before when it's like wet and frozen to keep him cool so they are also great for pets and yeah other uses for you I like them for kayaking too they're awesome in the comments I want you to let me know what your summer must-haves are for van life and camping I am very grateful to live in Arizona where we have dry summers throughout the state it makes a huge difference when you're not in humidity and it's so much easier to stay cool. So the further north you go in Arizona, the higher elevation and the cooler it gets. So I am very grateful to be able to stay in the state of Arizona all summer long and still maintain comfort. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I will see you next time.